so I just did a video doing a bit of an overview on this now that I've owned it for a while and the one big complaint that a lot of people have is how bright the display is I mean this thing is blindingly bright especially at night you can't leave it in a room that you're going to be sleeping in because it lights the entire room up this thing is brighter than any display I've ever seen which is convenient if you're blind or you can't really see in the dark or anything at all but the LCD is simple enough to read even I don't know where I'm going with that but LCD is easy enough to read so that backlight doesn't need to be that bright so there's a simple fix um, depending on how technically minded you are um, it can range from simply unplugging a wire inside of the um, actual charger to um, disconnecting wires, soldering in a variable resistor, and um, having a slide on the side, um, as I'll be showing you how to do in a later video. But this is the simple fix, because I don't have a variable resistor yet, I've got to order some. But So basically what you're going to do, you're going to have to disassemble the unit. To do that, you're going to have to turn it upside down. See, there's one of the little feet. See, the four little feet that are in each corner peel them off. Underneath there will be a screw. Take all the screws out. That's these four up here. Then, after you've done that, the back will separate and you have a circuit board. And then there will be three screws. One here, one here, and one here. Take them all out. Or if you really want to be careful, you can pop a little screwdriver over here and where the display buttons fell out, the display here sits on the board, makes contact with these here. That's your logic and all of your display connections. These, this little wire right here, the red and black, that connects to this LED1 connector here, would be plugged in obviously that. So take that, unplug it, tuck the wire in somewhere neatly, and then proceed in reverse. Or if you happen to have a variable resistor, then splice into the wire. And it's a little tricky to get back together because all of these battery contacts are kind of tight to get them into their little spots where they need to be. So once you've got it in, check make sure all the contacts are in the right place and temperature sensors are in there okay yep you're all good so then put your screws back in put your cover back on once it's all back together grab your power cord Plug it in. Ta-da! No blinding backlight anymore. And everything still works exactly the same. Pop a battery in. It detects it. Set your charge rate. Everything. It all still works. But now you can use it at night. Cool. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed watching. And maybe this will save your eyes a little bit for your late night battery charging parties. So, hope you enjoyed watching. Um, if you need any help with it, post a comment or post on the forums. And thanks for watching.